man it's been a while i don't use this thing i kind of forgot how it wor works what is up mother truckers this is your boy regal once again coming at you now let me tell you there ain't gonna be nothing fancy today but i am gonna work on these tomatoes you see back here i gotta tie them up cut a couple of those branches that are gonna go grow wild and stuff and i gotta water them too as you could see behind me i got these tomatoes these are some florida wild tomatoes i think some people call them uh 100s or something like that i also have my uh zucchinis or squashes whatever you want to call them and i'll show you that right now this year for some reason i've had a lot of uh fungus on this um vegetable for some reason by the way i gotta water this stuff so let me go turn on the the irrigation system really quick uh, i just turned it on for a couple of minutes i could hear it I could hear the irrigation running. Let's see what it's doing. Let's see if it's working. See, I don't have it on for the buckets right now, for the containers. <clears throat> I do have it on though for the garden beds. Let's see if you guys can see it there. So there they are, putting out some water, trying to feed some of the uh, plants in here. But yeah, they really do need some water. So I had to do that. But anyways, this video is about this tomatoes right here, which I planted three of. And I said, maybe I shouldn't have planted so many of them. And what I'll be doing is basically, I need to tie them to this um, little fencing thing right here. I just put up. And uh, they are putting out a whole bunch of tomatoes already. And I see they're putting out also a whole bunch of uh, new shoots new branches that I don't need I want this as close as possible to the fencing to grow into all that which ain't gonna take very long these tomatoes grow very fast and wild so I don't know eventually probably I'll end up taking one out because two of them is just a lot of tomatoes for what we eat I do give a lot to the neighbors though so the neighbors will be coming over and picking a whole bunch of little um, cherry tomatoes all right so I'm gonna go get that couple of clippers and start cutting and tying these up this one's throwing a huge branch over here that I don't need this is what you get when you leave those um, suckers to grow and you get huge branches out of them yes you will get more fruit but it all depends on what it is that you want. All right, so for now, those are the only branches I'm gonna take off. It wasn't many of them. It was about two and some really small, some really tiny uh, suckers. So now I gotta see how I wanna tie this up. I could already see some other branches, other suckers coming over here. So I'm gonna take those off, leave them here for now. Keep picking at them if I see them coming. Man, these tomatoes, they're not even like, they're not even a month old inside this bed and uh, they're already loaded with tomatoes. That's what I love about these little tomatoes and they will be fruiting for months to come. All right, so let me start tying this up or at least getting it close to the fence so it doesn't fall on me. You know what, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take off that other branch right there and just stick with this one because I don't need that many. So this one's gonna go. You can see where it was growing right here. That was a sucker and then that sucker puts out more suckers. And they end up being more branches, more fruit but unnecessary at this moment. This is just so it doesn't fall and stuff because this, this tree is going to fall. It'll be fine if it falls because it'll still produce tomatoes. It'll just make a huge mess. They grow crazy wild. Open up this bed if you don't want to take care of them. And I don't want that right now. Not when I have other vegetables in the bed. But, I mean, if you don't mind your tomatoes being all over the ground, that's perfectly fine. So like this, because this one's already starting to be right that way so it's only a matter of time before it falls over. So I'll 
heavy it'll get. So that one's done. Let's do another one. Third tomato. And as you could see, it was that easy. It's just getting hot over here. I mean, today is a hot day. But uh, anyways, let me go around and show you what I did. So all I did was very simple. I just grabbed this branch right here, pulled it this way because it was leaning all the way over here to the right hand side and tied it to the fence. Now it's gonna shoot out more suckers which become branches. And it's gonna go up here. I might have, might have to put another fencing up there because they do grow tall. Same thing over here. They just start growing crazy and stuff. Tied this one pulling it a little bit to the left because it will fall that way and uh that's about it i did plant a whole bunch of um tomatoes i probably planted about i don't know like 20 of them i gave some to some of the friends i have very few of them i gave to my neighbor i gave my neighbor a whole bunch I gave my my wife's mother her grandmother they all got tomatoes so they could grow them. I gave some to my mom. And I still have two left. I'm letting these branch out. See them? Flower and put in tomatoes. I got two of them left. I'll potter them to bigger containers. That's where I'm at. These are the new figs. I'll be up potting to five gallon. Got some peppers, some unique peppers over here. Hot peppers. Some new trees I've been planting. Some new varieties of different trees, finger limes, the uh, miracle fruit, some more chilies, hot peppers, another tomato, figs everywhere. Got figs everywhere. All these little figs are coming up. But yeah, that's it. So for now, this is how it is gonna end, and this is how. We're going to keep up with it. So you can see I'm sweating bullets right now. And that's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. Don't forget we love you. We'll see you next time. I got the biggest beach, oh, I got the biggest beach.